At 58 years old, Mike Tyson, once known as the baddest man on the planet, is preparing for a comeback that has captured the world's attention. He's set to face Jake Paul, the YouTuber turned boxer, whose meteoric rise in the boxing world has been as controversial as it has been compelling. Fans, critics, and even fellow fighters are divided. Some see this as an opportunity for Paul to prove his mettle, while others believe Tyson's return will remind everyone why he once dominated the sport with unmatched ferocity. The build-up to this fight isn't just hype, it's a battle of generations, experience versus youth, and legacy versus ambition. Tyson's training routine starts at dawn, long before most people have even hit the snooze button. The first rays of sunlight barely touch the ground as he meets his trainers, ready to push himself through a regimen that harks back to his glory days. The atmosphere is electric, filled with the sounds of gloves striking pads and Tyson's steady breathing as he prepares for war. His mornings begin with intense cardio, a crucial part of his training to maintain the stamina needed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a fighter over 30 years his junior. Conditioning is not just an option for Tyson, it's a necessity. He knows that power alone won't be enough. Paul is younger, quicker, and capable of going the distance. To counter this, Tyson's training isn't just about raw strength, it's about precision, speed, and endurance. Under the watchful eye of Rafael Cordo, a trainer who understands what it takes to mold champions, Tyson pushes through round after round of pad work. The drills mimic real fight conditions, each punch strategically placed to maximize impact. The focus isn't just on brute force, but on combinations that exploit Tyson's legendary hooks and uppercuts. Every punch Tyson throws during these sessions feels like a reminder of his prime. The pad work is grueling, each round more intense than the last, as Cordo yells out numbers, pushing Tyson to move faster, hit harder, and dig deeper. It's not just physical, it's mental. Each strike must be calculated, each movement precise. This isn't just training, it's a performance, a testament to the fact that Tyson still has the hunger and drive of a fighter half his age. As the pad work comes to an end, Tyson shifts to the heavy bag, a staple in any boxer's training regimen. But this isn't any ordinary session. The way Tyson attacks the bag brings memories of his days as the undisputed heavyweight champion flooding back. Each punch resonates with the same bone-crushing force that once made opponents quake with fear. The room goes silent, save for the heavy thuds of his fists and the occasional grunt of effort. Fans who watch his training clips online can't help but comment, can you believe this man is almost 60? Next, Tyson moves on to the speed bag. The rhythmic sound of leather tapping against wood echoes throughout the gym, a soundtrack to his relentless pursuit of excellence. This exercise isn't just for show, it's essential for maintaining rhythm, timing, and hand-eye coordination. These are qualities Tyson will need to outmaneuver Paul's unpredictable style. But Tyson's workout doesn't stop at the basics. He integrates agility drills, using reflex balls and quick footwork exercises that keep him sharp, nimble, and ready to slip punches like he did in his prime. Reaction drills follow, with Tyson bobbing, weaving, and pivoting as his trainers simulate the unexpected angles and speeds of an opponent's punches. Move, Mike, move. They shout as Tyson's body responds on instinct, shifting left, then right, dodging an invisible punch, and countering with a lightning-fast jab. The message is clear no matter how old he is, Tyson isn't just coming back to show up, he's coming back to win. While Tyson prepares like a man on a mission, Jake Paul's confidence remains unshaken. Known for his brash persona and viral moments, Paul sees this fight as the pinnacle of his career. People doubt me, say I don't belong in the ring with Tyson. He remarks in an interview, smirking as if he relishes the doubt. But I've trained for this. I know what it's like to be underestimated. And I thrive on it, and he has a point. Paul's journey from internet personality to legitimate boxer has been marked by determination. And in each fight, he has proven he's not just a showman, but a fighter with skill. Meanwhile, voices from the boxing community echo their opinions. Gene Kilroy, a figure closely linked to Muhammad Ali, can't contain his respect for Tyson's dedication. Mike, this is the strongest I've ever seen you, Kilroy says after a visit to Tyson's gym. I was worried about you, but now I'm more confident than ever the statement resonates deeply. If someone who's seen the greats in action is convinced, maybe Tyson really does have one more show left in him. The fight will feature eight rounds of two minutes each a setup that might seem brief but is deceptive in its intensity. Richard Steele, a seasoned referee, emphasizes that even though they'll be using 14-ounce gloves, it won't dilute the power Tyson brings. People need to understand that those gloves won't protect you from the force Tyson can unleash, Steele explains. Even with that padding, two minutes is plenty for someone like him. Paul acknowledges this but spins it into motivation. I'm going into his territory, under his rules, and I'm going to beat him, Paul states confidently. 
His training, which is just as rigorous but tailored to his youthful strengths, has been focused on outlasting Tyson's explosive bursts. It's a strategy that could work if he survives the initial storm. Conor McGregor, never one to shy away from making bold predictions, throws his support behind Tyson. Mike's going to end it early, McGregor says during a live stream. Jake's good, but this is Iron Mike we're talking about. The words are echoed by thousands of fans who flood social media with predictions, debates, and hype for the upcoming fight. Training clips of Tyson continue to spread like wildfire. In one, he throws a combination so fast and powerful that the sound alone makes viewers wince. Comments pour in age is just a number for this man and he still got it. But Tyson's return hasn't been without setbacks. Earlier this year, he suffered a health scare during a cross-country flight. What started as a routine trip turned serious when Tyson had to be treated for a flare-up of an ulcer, resulting in the fight being postponed. The delay only fueled speculation was Tyson really up for this? Could he handle the pressure and physical toll? The answer came in the form of more training videos. Tyson, unfazed and as motivated as ever, returned to his grueling routine. My body's in better shape now than it's been in years, Tyson assures fans. It's not just bravado, the evidence is clear in every clip where he unleashes punches that blur on camera. His movements are fluid, his reactions sharp, and his power, unmistakably deadly. Jake Paul's confidence isn't just talk either. He's seen these videos and knows he's up against a formidable challenge, but he's unfazed. I've prepared for this, and I'm not just here to play, he says. His training team has incorporated sparring partners who mimic Tyson's aggressive style, making Paul sweat through practice rounds that test his endurance and defensive skills. As the fight approaches, Tyson's training intensifies. He incorporates high-intensity interval training, hitting stationary bikes and treadmills at full tilt. He even takes to swimming, a low-impact way to boost lung capacity and overall endurance. Tyson's strength training is just as impressive, focusing on compound movements like deadlifts and bench presses that build the explosive power he's known for. This isn't just a comeback, it's a statement that Tyson, even at 58, is still a force to be reckoned with. Each day in the gym, Tyson's sparring partners leave a little more battered, a little more humbled. He's still got that knockout power one partner admits, a bruise forming under his eye. It's like he never left. The strategy for Tyson is clear, bring the fight to Paul, Use his signature peek-a-boo style to close the gap and deliver punches that will end it before Paul has a chance to adjust. As the clock ticks down to November 15th, anticipation reaches fever pitch. Paul, with his 101 record, stands as a man with something to prove. Tyson, a legend seeking to show that greatness doesn't age, is determined to silence any doubters. It's more than just a fight, it's a clash of eras, a battle of willpower and a testament to what it means to chase a dream, no matter your age. The final days are a blur of press conferences, last-minute training, and media hype. Paul, never one to miss an opportunity, posts playful videos of himself sparring, dancing, and joking about the fight. But beneath the antics, there's a seriousness that's hard to ignore. This isn't just any fight he confides in an interview. This is my legacy on the line. Tyson's response is a simple, powerful message posted online final stretch. I'm ready accompanied by a clip of him landing a series of fast, precise hooks and uppercuts. It's clear that he's not coming just to participate, he's coming to win. When the day arrives, the world will watch as these two men step into the ring. Tyson, the legend with fists of steel and a heart that refuses to quit, versus Paul, the new age fighter who has everything to prove. The outcome will be one for the history books, but one thing is certain no one will forget the night Iron Mike Tyson made his return. So stay tuned, because this isn't just a fight, it's a story that will be told for generations. If you're as excited as we are, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss what happens next. The legend is ready, the stage is set, and history is about to be made.